smoke weed every day. Smoke weed every Hey everyone, my name is Doug Brown, and today we're going to mess with assets for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and we will start dumping rough isles on your own. <coughs> so for this tutorial you will need your self file for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and you will need to load it in IDA. Then you will click on File, Script File and you should have PS3 import PPC IDC files, if you don't have it just google it same thing for ID Pro Advanced Edition <coughs> pardon me and you'll double click on analyze underscore self dot IDC you will select no I already did it so I will press on cancel then it will pop up with a hi there um, output window and it should pop up with oh wait it's already done for me so and it's cancelled by the way so but it should tell you the table of content TOC you just go in option general analysis processor and you'll put the table of content right there then you'll press OK then OK again and it will analyze a second time <coughs> You will save your IDB file and you're ready to go. So open up your strings windows by going in view, open sub views and strings. Then you will click on string right there, so it will be in order. And you will search for asset. Now there's a certain string that is really interesting for us. Uh, it's not this one keep searching and um, it's actually this one could not load default asset um, person s for asset type person s try to load it or you'll see offset underscore 9908E8 it could be different but if you just scroll down you will see the list of assets double click on it and this is your assets list not assets pools assets list save it because it's if anything crashes well you will already have your assets list saved somewhere and you should go to codresearch.com there's a lot of stuff really interesting for you right there on the as assets for advanced warfare this is the exact same list but be careful though um, for PS3 there are some that are not available like physics water preset but they are in order physics preset, physics call map and it's jump straight to X anim like you see right there straight call map and not, av not available, same for those one, and it's jumped straight to XNM. Also, some of them aren't used, like UI underscore map, which is right there. This one is false for being used, and it can be explained by, um, well, let's find let's find the assets pools by going in the X reference you'll find everything right there I really don't know about these I think those are functions related to the assets and right there is the assets pools double click and rename it assets pool and they are in order meaning this one is physics preset next one will be physical map and water preset is not available so let's jump straight to xanim so this one will be xanim and it's keep going on and right there you'll see bytes it's not normal so press on double word and now it's a long this is actually ui underscore map and why is it zero and well let's do it for this one and this one but it should be for all of them 
I already did it on my other IDB file. So UI underscore map is not used and can be explained by a zero. Uh, UI map is not used and it can be explained by a zero. And we keep going on. So you just have to rename them by shift double points and you put your physic preset well preset and it will put it right there like get done physic call map and you keep going on making the whole list like this it will be really easier then you will save your IDB file I already did it <coughs> <coughs> and as I said they're just in order and it's really useful so in this tutorial we will really focus on raw files so copy this address and go in your debugger 0x paste it if you press actually this is the address of the next empty entry for raw files if you press shift G on the pointer you'll get the next free one and if you go like the one just above it is the last raw file so let's go back to code research and click on raw file also if there's an asset that isn't isn't actually clear for advanced warfare just go on ghost they're really similar and you will get a lot of information for advanced warfare so let's go back to raw files Room for two three goes and advanced warfare it's all the same thing and it's using zlib compression the minimum zlib compression or uncompression so this is the structure this is plus four plus four plus four plus four zero x ten in length for the structure let's verify it this is actually the address to the next one so add plus 4 to it just to skip it and as you see this is a raw file structure another one another one and it's keep going on let's get the first one shift G to follow the pointer and this, this is the name of the raw file default mp.cfg go back by pressing ctrl alt G and what was next? Compressed length, decompressed length, and the buffer. This is the compressed length, E3, the uncompressed length, 15C, and a pointer to the buffer. This buffer is the length of compressed buffer, which is E3. So, let's dump it. Open up a new project. I will do it in C++, C, C++, you'll have to add a ps3.h for ps3tm API, it can be on nextgenupdate.com, and yeah, we'll use it for dumping our first Rafa. also you'll need zlib, just google it, Google zlib, zlib download and you'll get the full source uh, right there so this is the lib and this is where is the header test is on test yeah and there's zlib1.tll you'll put it in the same folder as your executable uh, go back debug Rafa's dumper and zlib1 you'll copy it right there and you will add these two lines to include it so we're ready to go um, let's add two addresses coins no it's const integer uh, rafa's next equals 0x and you will paste in um, you will paste it, this address you'll do this copy it, paste and raw files 
will be Rafael's next plus four. Or you could just do it manually, F4, but yeah. Let's do something called char get name and index and it will return ps3 dot read string from ps3 dot read integer because we are reading a pointer to the actual address of the string the name of the raffle and this one will be raffles plus index time 0 x 10 remember this is the size of the structure for the raffles and the name was the first value so no need to add anything after and that's it let's test it char name equal get name zero and print person s and username also before doing this you will have to connect your ps3 of course if ps3.connect open brackets and you'll paste in your stuff right there and you'll press play and it will display default np.cfg right so let's delete this it was just for testing this function and right now it's been like 10 minutes so I will stop the video for now and I will upload it uh, the next one on my YouTube channel and it will be in the description thanks for watching and see you really soon